Um, we here. We live. We live. The money team is live. The money team is live. I'm going to give y'all some time to head over. Tony M. What's up? What's up? The money team is here, baby. Yeah. Money. The money team is here. You feel me? We lied. The money team. <laughs> the money team is here. It's a new, it's a new day. <laughs> Zach got money. I got six Rolls Royces outside. Indoor pool. And do. Outdoor pool. We're going swimming. You know what I'm saying? Indoor basketball court, outdoor basketball court. We where balling. the money team at? Floyd. Floyd, where the money team at? We balling. We here. What's up? You wasn't we be shooting in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> they should have never gave your boy money. They should have never. He got the Louis V shades on. You see, you see me? Got the got Fendi scarf. Got the Fendi scarf, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can't have money. It's a new day for Zach. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all all happy for me and proud of me. You know what I'm saying? What's up? It's a new day. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, y'all. So, um, hold on. let me take these shades off. I can't even see that. My eyes. Help him, Lord. Me. Help him. So, before I get into y'all questions, I have some questions of my own uh -oh. for my co-star here. Uh oh. Fatima, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, Zach is trying his hardest. He is trying his hardest to be the guy that you want to be, and you keep blocking him. Can you let us know what's happening? I can. I can. You let know, us know. Fatima let us has know. been through some things. Talk to you us. You know, Fatima has been through Talk some things. Mm -hmm. um, a little mm -hmm. past hurt and trauma. Mm -hmm. I know we're not supposed to bring that into new relationships. But, not at all. But not at all. when the person you with does things that trigger Can we talk past about that? Hurt, can, can we past talk about hurt, that? Let me finish. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. That triggers certain things, you know. It kind of, it kind of took me back for a minute. So I'm trying to get past that. It's only been two days. Which is, it has been two days. It has, <laughs> it has been two days. But let's be fair. Zach asked you if you wanted to be exclusive, and what did you say? I wasn't ready. <laughs> All right then. All right then. You said you wasn't ready. So if you wasn't ready, then why why are you holding this against me? You said you wasn't ready. You know what we do, females. Y'all know. Is that fair? Is that fair to me? It's not fair. Well, the people want to know how long you're gonna you know keep this up. Gotta ask Tom Perry. Gotta ask T T P. I know you watch this. How <laughs> you gonna how long you gonna make Zach go through this? Huh? How long? Because they want to see Zatima together. You know. They do. You know they do. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of insight. As you saw on the stories before we came on here live, I gave you guys a little bit of a backstory as to why Zach is the way he is. First and foremost, I have to be fair to uh, Karen, mm -hmm. Ebony Obsidian. Love you, Ebs. Love you, Eb. Um, Ebony is not the sole reason why Karen and Zach are not together. That's unfair. Mm -hmm. for, anyone, for anyone who's watching now and saying, I hate Karen. Karen is wrong. I get it. I understand because based on what you see, no, 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 serious. Based on what she you see, she is not wrong though. Like you put her through a lot. Okay, I'm. I, I didn't. People don't know that, but Crystal know that. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. All right. Okay. Zach has been through a lot in his life. His mom was hard on him. Told him he wasn't gonna be shit his whole life. Mm -hmm. Told him he was just like his father. Um, didn't come visit him or anything when he was in jail. His, his mom really just pretty much abandoned him. So he has abandonment issues. When it comes to women, he has a thing about himself where once a woman starts to talk down to him, the, all, the person he sees first mm -hmm. is his mom. Mm -hmm. And then once he gets to the point where he sees his mom, it's a wrap. All respect is gone. And once mm -hmm. that respect is gone, he starts to treat the woman like he would treat his mom, which is disrespectfully. So where I think Karen and Zach went wrong was their communication. Yeah. You know, um, Karen also grew up without a dad. Her mom, as y'all saw, raised her to be a very strong, independent woman. Her defense mechanism at times was to speak down on Zach. Mm -hmm. So, for example, remember when um, Zach was speaking to Danny about his dreams? Yes. And, and Danny was like, well, what about your barbershop dreams when you said you wanted to cut hair? And I said, well, I, I told Karen what I wanted to do. And she said, well, you're not doing that in my shop. You're going to find somewhere else to do it. 
I think that's the main difference between mm-hmm. Karen and Fatima. Mm-hmm. Karen was like, I know you live here, but if you're going to figure that out, figure it out on your own. You're not doing it on my time. Whereas Fatima was like, you can do it, Zach. Anything Zach said. You can do it. That, and I think that's <laughs> the main difference between the two women. Yeah, I agree. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The main difference is you both were hurt. Mm-hmm. Because as we see now, Fatima was hurt. Karen was hurt. But yeah. the way Karen was dealing with her hurt when it came to Zach, mm-hmm. was she was very, very angry. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and disrespectful to him at times. And it got to a point where he, they lost respect for each other. So Yeah. Toxic. You know, it's extremely toxic. Yeah. Extremely toxic. But I think um, a friend of mine, we talked about it, how our past shape who we are and how mm-hmm. we react to certain things. And um, which is why therapy is very important. Not Absolutely. To too deep. Absolutely. But um, we bring a lot of things that we have been through into new relationships. And mm-hmm. a lot of times I ask myself, is this um, a red flag or was that just, or you know what I'm saying? Or am I bringing in past things and projecting that onto the other person? Right. You know? That's true. Cause that's you have true. to, you ha- it's hard to dis- decipher like, oh, that's something I've seen in the past. X, no, you gotta go. True. You know, true. or am I bringing in the past things someone else has done to me because you did something small that reminded me See, of that? It's funny you say that. There's mm-hmm. something I learned, right? also dealing with well we had a therapist on our podcast Mm -hmm. and she said nobody can make you feel a way Mm -hmm. about anything Mm -hmm. it's just Mm -hmm. things happen and you feel a way based on stuff that's happened in the past yeah so for zach Mm -hmm. for example zach can't say karen made me feel this way Mm -hmm. the same way i allowed you know what i'm saying me feel this way exactly the same way fatima can't now say zach is making me feel a certain way Mm mm-hmm I had to learn how to let that go yeah. and move on. And that's what Fatima's going to have to do. She's so going to have to. That's just a little bit of backstory about where our characters are. Yeah. And why y'all haven't seen us just rush together and just be perfect harmony. Because mm-hmm. that's not even real. That's not real. Like, let's, if, if we're going to be honest, no two people come together within two days, fall in love, and it's just bliss. You know, that this back and forth happens. You know what I'm saying? That don't happen. It, you know? d- listen, don't I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've been I've been married 11 years. And the first mm-hmm. couple months, me and Kay got together. It was a whole back and forth. Back and forth. I want to be with you. I don't want to <laughs> be with you. I think I love you. I don't really know you. But I want to be with you. That happens. It happens. So <laughs> give it time. Let it fester. Let it build. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see some people here saying they love me. I love y'all too. They say they love me. They ain't saying they love you. That's a crystal. No, that's 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 We love y'all too. So look, no, we want to actually give you guys some time to ask some questions. So throw your questions down there and we're going to try to answer them to the best of our Mm -hmm. ability. Mm Mm-hmm. I see that now. Can we get present to pray for bringing these two? Us, I'm obsessed. Yeah, oh, shout out yes, to Mr. Perry for bringing us together. TP. We love you, TP. Yes, yes, yes. It says, Fatima, you're so damn hot with that body of yours. Yo, yo, my mans. Jose, I see you. I see you. Thank you. see you. me? She is fine, right? Yeah, but she all mine. <laughs> all right? Oh, man. Are you going to tell Fatima about the money? Let's, let's see. Should I tell Fatima about the money? Should he? Should I? Because let's be real. Should. Once again, last night, Fatima talking about something. This is what we doing. We fucking. That's what we doing. We fucking. I don't want to cut her. I don't want to do all of this. But now that I got some money, I see a bunch of y'all saying you should tell Fatima about the money. How much should Zach be giving if he um, keeps getting Fatima cut has down? given a lot, though. And like, don't forget about everything she done done. Zach has given a lot, too. A lot of... Yeah, we seen in the last episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Zach giving it up. You know what I'm saying? But, um... But Fatima paying bail, getting you out of jail. Technically, you didn't pay. You you bought, oh, you used right. the favor. I you used the favor. So you ain't even used no money. Because I know money. people. You know people. So you ain't even used no money. Tyler Perry got you out of jail. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Perry got me out of jail. The thing is, though... Zach is on this thing where he's trying to pay people back. You are. I love that. He is. I you know? love that. Zach yeah. tried to pay Fatima back when he was going to leave the first time, but she said, no, take the money. Um, mm-hmm. He paid Karen back, you know, but we'll see. But that's how a girl Fatima is. She's like, keep your money. You don't want my money? You don't want my money? I do want your money. But yeah, I know. You but see, you're you just see? getting it, so I'm letting you keep it for now. And I mean, then when yo, you really why? get it, then I need that money. Why do women be fronting? <laughs> Y'all just want to say what you feel. Say what you feel. 
See, somebody, somebody said, don't say, I don't say nothing. That. You saw it, right? Somebody said, don't, don't say, say nothing, nothing to you, you know, exactly. the status of your relationship. That's what I'm talking about. That's real. That is real. That's what I just mean. People got to wait a little bit. He says that's how get locked up again. Don't wish that on Zach. Don't wish that on Zach. Man, Zach out here in these streets. At least I can afford a lawyer this time. Amen. You know? At least I can afford a lawyer. Mm-hmm. So, I got a question. Give us give us a little bit more about your your character's backstory Mm -hmm. so that people can understand when they're watching the show because that's one thing about the show we don't get a chance to see the backstory so we don't understand why people are making decisions Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your backstory so people can watch tonight and say oh i know why she's doing that yeah so like tyler he gives us the freedom to create our own backstory Mm -hmm. so we find our motivations Mm -hmm. um for different situations but fatima comes from a very powerful family in the drug business Okay. Yeah, so like, which is why I'm attracted. To, I've been around guys, you know, that are in and out of jail all my life. So you were never intimidated by that? Never intimidated by the fact that, which is a part of the reason why I'm going to law school is because I wanted to be oh, able to help my family see? if they were ever in any, in any situation um, legally. So when I met you and you were in jail, I'm like, oh, that don't bother me. So that's just, you're a street, so you're a street girl. Yeah, so you're which is why you're pulling guns out on people. Um, ready to fight people. That's why you don't look down on choosing Zach. Choosing violence. No, I don't look down on ah. Zach at all. Yeah. Because I see a lot of my father in you. Ooh. I see a lot of my father in you, yeah. So see, I, that's an interesting dynamic. A woman mm-hmm. who's a part of a family who's been in any type of crime or organized crime mm-hmm. understands that prison is a part of that lifestyle. Yeah. So whereas some women may look at that as like, oh, he's been in and out of jail. Fatima's was just like, oh, that's part of it. Mm-hmm. Let's find a way to move past it. Yes, that's important. Exactly, that's important. And we're not in it now, like that's where, but that's where our money. Came that's where from. your money came from. Mm-hmm. Okay, which is why I like Fatima has a very nice house. People are like, how she got that? Cause, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes money sense. in the family. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I like. So that. That's a story I gave myself to, to make sense and to really figure out where all these parts of Fatima comes from. Well, I mean, it does make sense because if you think about her fighting the girls in the parking mm-hmm. lot, her pulling out a gun, it's like, why would she, if she's in law school, uh, this depressing woman be doing that? You yeah. know what I'm saying? And but she's from Philly. like That's true. She is Philly from Philly. Philly is to a whole Zach is from zone. Brooklyn. So it's BK East Coast. East Coast. East Coast. That's you know another thing. Yeah. Somebody said, I thought you was Medea's niece. Hey, the way I be holding <laughs> that, that pistol in my purse. You never know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Somebody said, what's Zach's backstory? Well, I'll give y'all a little bit about Zach's backstory. Um, Zach comes from a past where it was him and his mom. Um, him and his mom grew up together in Brooklyn. And he, his, y'all hear one of my kids calling me. But um, he grew up in a time where his mom was looking for love in all the wrong places. And Zach was a hindrance to her because Zach reminded her of the man that she thought she was going to be with. And he ended up doing her dirty. So when she looked at Zach, all she saw was the guy that did her dirty. So she constantly told Zach, you ain't going to be nothing. You just like your father. And Mm. Zach had to grow up hearing that not only from, and we discussed this in season two, not only from his mom, Mm -hmm. his mom, his aunts, his grandmother. Yes. So that's what he, when he thinks about women, that's all he hears is negativity. Mm -hmm. So meeting Fatima is the first time in his life that, and you'll, you'll hear this in the rest of season three. This is the first time in his life he's ever had a woman speak positively into him. That's why he's falling so hard. That's why when you look at Zach, people just like, Zach is a womanizer. Why would he be falling into Fatima? That's why. Yeah. She, she speaks something different into him. So, you know, that's their bad that. stories. You do that. I do that. You do that. So let me see. What questions do y'all have for us? We want to know. Somebody said, how do our characters relate to our real lives? Like wow. I, Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. It's funny because I've noticed that after we shoot, art starts to imitate life. I'll nice. start seeing things that Tyler has written in the script happening in my life. And I'm like, whoa, this is real Fatima-ish. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. almost kind of scary. But, um, yeah. For me, I think this reminds me, Zach reminds me of that point in my life when I retired from the NFL and I came back to Brooklyn and I was trying to figure out what was next mm-hmm. for DeVal because DeVal was trying to get into TV film but didn't know how to do it. The same way Zach got out of prison and was trying to figure out how am I going to make money, DeVal was trying to figure out how is he going to get to that 
upper echelon of actors. And there's no blueprint to getting into TV film. So at times you feel lost. At times you feel like, you know, you take two steps forward, it's four steps back. You know, mm-hmm. you, you have an audition that goes well, you don't hear anything back. Then you get depressed. Um, you start to project all of your insecurities on the, the woman that you're dating, who at the time was my wife. And we had issues within our relationships that had nothing to do with her, mm-hmm. but had everything to do with all the things I was going through yeah. at the time. So in that way, Zach kind of reminds me of DeVal. Yeah. Wow. So let's see, what are the questions y'all got? How much percentage is improv? <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's a lot, a lot not of Not a lot. It's some, but not a lot. It just depends on the scene. Depends on the scene. Um, sometimes he lets us riff. Yeah, sometimes he lets us go. When mm-hmm. there's comedic aspects, mm-hmm. he kind of lets us do our thing with And the then comedy. sometimes he'll like, like give us, he'll he'll see certain things happening in the scene. Yeah. And he'll be like, wait, say this, say that. Yeah. And he'll start spitting stuff at us. And then once he starts that, just say this, say that, mm-hmm. that's when he kind of lets the two of us do what we do. Yeah. But um, our chemistry has been... Great in part because Crystal is a freaking workaholic, a lot like me. Like yeah. the football background in me, I always want to go over scenes. I always want to read, yeah. read, read. And having thing. a scene partner that wants to do the same thing. Yeah. She and I spend, we used to spend hours during camp every quarantine, scene. and even before we even got to the set, you would be yeah, we spent hours every we day. We were like lot, a lot like at, like an hour to a day every day to study. Two hours to study. Yeah. Yeah, and then as soon as we're Rapping, we're back to studying for the next day. Mm-hmm. And like, remember that day? <laughs> Yo, y'all want to hear a funny story? I'm, I'm gonna tell you exhausted. Y'all. Funny story. Oh my god! So the way we shoot, um, we shoot depending upon location, mm-hmm. and it just so happens that the law firm was first. So Crystal had been shooting early for like three days in a row. Yeah. Then there was some mid scenes where I, I did some stuff at the airport. Um, I did some stuff at the hair salon, but the last week and the last two days was at Fatima's apartment. So we're getting to these last two days, right? And I know she's tired. I can tell she's tired. And I'm starting to get into my rhythm because and now I'm getting into it. So we get done shooting at 9. We go eat dinner from 9 to 10.30. By 11, we get back to the dorms. And I'm like, all right, let's run these lines. And I think we had something like 50 scenes. It was crazy. It was something ridiculous. It was it was uh, 50 pages, not mm-hmm. scenes. We had like 50 pages. Mm-hmm. So I'm running through the scenes, right? And we're, you know, the way we start is we just read through all of the lines first. And when I get to her part, it's just get quiet. <laughs> oh, here. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, hey. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> so we in there till about 1.30 a.m. And she said, D, I don't got it, bro. <laughs> Oh, God, I got to go to sleep. I'm so sorry. I have to get my sleep. She looked like she was about to cry. She was like, I'm, I'm, I'm so I sorry. Not, no, I'm like, so no, sorry. I not being on point. I was, like, I was like, don't worry. I got this. I got this. So I spent all night memorizing my lines and her lines <laughs> so that if I got there, I could feed her the lines when we got there. That's a real friend. Let me tell you, when we got to hair and makeup yeah. that morning, I was prepared to, you know, have to go in there and feed in the line. She was just like, no, I got up an hour early. I got it. We sat down with that piece of paper, and it was like, boom, boom, boom. And boom, I, was, boom. I, was, I was in my room doing You were doing your makeup? Like, I was like, how did, how? How yeah. did you do that? Your process. Sometimes your partner's process is different than yours, but... Yeah. When y'all work together like that, you know, we was just, and we, we knocked that shit out too. I work better under pressure. You do? You do? I do. You do? I, you do? I don't know you what do? it is. I, yeah, we I got it really done. We got it done. Oh, I like this question. Why do you think Fatima apologized to Karen so much? Mm, that's a good question. I think part of that is because she is my boss's best friend. Um, I really don't want any bad blood between. <laughs> take a drink. <laughs> I don't want any bad blood between the two of us. Um, for the sake of my boss, I love Andy. We're building a beautiful relationship. And um, I don't want any issues. But um, let's see how long that lasts. Can I interject? <laughs> I'm only interjecting is Zach. The sister circle don't apologize to nobody. The reason why I say that is because Karen got me arrested for something I didn't do. And did. Nobody apologized to me. Andy blamed me for stuff that I didn't do. Nobody apologized That's to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, why you got to apologize to the sister circle, huh? Mm-hmm. No, that's just... First thing I'm going to say, when, when next season, you know, God willing, we get a season number four, 
I'm gonna talk to TP. I'm gonna say if Crystal or if if Fatima's gonna be Zach girl, Fatima ain't apologizing to nobody. nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Mary had a little lamb. Period. Mm-hmm. Shit done. Oh, <laughs> Let's see what they talking about. BT said they love Satima. We love BT. We do love BT. We love you, BT. <laughs> Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yes. Oh, somebody said, Zach, now can you get your own plates? All I'm going to say is stay tuned. Stay tuned. You got to watch it. What? Live. Live. <laughs> Tonight. At 9 o'clock. Only on BET. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Zach may just show up there, you know what I'm saying? With a new spot. You know? Sitting up here with my baby. You know what I'm saying? This is the new Zach. I hope y'all ready for this new Zach. <laughs> they going to get on you. They going to tell me how you be crossing your legs. This, yo, this, <laughs> this going to be Zach. Zach, Zach going to show up to the hair salon like this. Yo, let me get a line up. No, <laughs> no. He going to be like, hey, Karen, guess what? I own this. <laughs> You work for me now. <laughs> <laughs> this Zach Hair Salon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Could, could you imagine if Zach bought Karen a hair salon? <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. He better not. Tyler. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> I think we have one more episode before the mid-season finale. If I'm yeah, because this is episode 10. We it's got to be 11, 11. Yeah, so next it's week is the mid-season finale. Stop, why is she hot? Like, I don't know how y'all be wearing this. Because don't nobody wear it around their neck I like can't that. be bougie no more. I can't <laughs> be bougie. I'm tired of being bougie. We wear it around our head. This ain't even mine. This is K's. <laughs> she gonna be mad. She's not getting, She's no, getting sweat all on it. no hair grease on her joints. You better not do that. That's a Fendi. I'm going to blame you. That's what I do. I always blame you. That's what I said. Buy her salon. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy Karen's salon. We love you guys too. Somebody said I'm starting to look like Hayden. No, I'm not. I do not look like Hayden. Hayden don't got no lineup. If you ever struggle about which one is Zach and which one's Hayden, look at the lineup. Black Al. Look at the lineup. Mm -hmm. Somebody said season four is please. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Foe. Somebody said Zach got that money acting brand new. Damn right. Mm hmm You ain't never been locked up and not have nothing and then have seven hundred and eighty-seven thousand mm. <laughs> dollars. Hmm. That's a lot of come up. Yeah. That is a, a huge come up. That's a lot of money. Good lord, that's a lot of money. So uh, Fatima, can you answer why was you mad when he left with you? When who he left, left with, with me? You? Who left with you? I wonder who who left with you. Who left with you? Nobody left with you. Nobody left with you. I'm like, who, who left with you? I'm really trying to think. Philly, stand up. Nah, off. Philly. What part of Philly are you from? Jones. North Philly? Philly, what up? Then Jones? What up? And them Jones. My family's from Philly. Shout out my cousin Portia. Yes, yes. Philly in the building. Fatima, are you single? <laughs> Look at the smile. Look at the smile. Look at the smile. Is there? Yeah, she's single. She's single. Single and ready to mingle. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, though, in all honesty, anybody coming to check for Crystal going to have to deal with me. Pert. And I got three boys. Pert. We a gang. They a, a real gang gang. We checking anybody. Pull up. Because it's family right here. Better come correct. Got to deal with me. Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> Somebody said, is Zach going to be still called Zach? Why is Zach messy? Zach is not messy. They keep saying Zach is messy. Has Zach been messy? Mm -mm, no, I don't think I don't Zach messy, has been messy. No. no. So that time you, Karen. That wasn't messy. In the closet. It was closure. It was closure. Closure. Aren't we allowed closure in a relationship? Yo, you with somebody closure. three years. Aren't you allowed to have that one last, <clears throat> like period <clears throat> at the end? You could. Can't you just do that one last period? You could do that, right? Or am I wrong for that? I'm wrong for that? I think, I think. You had just did me. And then you even did her. Technically. Technically. But there was some time in between. And I didn't expect to do it on that, in that moment. <laughs> in the that moment day, was I was there. Day. Yeah. I mean, you said some time in like a few hours. Yeah. It was a few hours. It was a few hours. It was a few hours. Zach took a shower. 
Did you what? Okay, good. Zach took a shower. He took a shower. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, 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 oh, this is another thing I want to bring up. I did not expect y'all to ever meet. That's true. I did, Zach did not know that Fatima even knew Karen. You know know what what I'm saying? You know what they say? What? What happens in the dark shall what? Come to the light. It's not, it's not fair. <laughs> ah, it's not fair. God don't play about me. He gonna let me know. He, he, he said, baby, he let you in know. real life, too. He did let you know. I was in that supermarket like, God, of all the places. All, all, the, all, the, all the people. Well, I gotta run into all four of y'all right here with her. Right. right. And we had just got to a good place. We did. Then she kicked me out. We was in the grocery stores laughing and shopping. Mm-hmm. I just gave you some. Was that? The, yeah, I just gave you the money. Sidebar, this is non-alcoholic. This is on a Yeah, don't drink. This is lemonade and iced tea. See? If you Not do, online. drink responsibly. Yes, if you do drink, drink responsibly. Don't drive. 21 and up only. Yes. Three de- literally, not even six degrees. Three, de- three degrees of separation for sure. Really? Like, the world. I mean, I, I, I definitely people. believe in six degrees of separation for sure. Like, do y'all believe in that? Do y'all believe in, in six degrees of separation? People just be knowing people? We all know some like I literally can call anybody that knows somebody. You do know a lot of people from like the president of the United States to oh, your no, favorite rapper's favorite rapper. I don't, I don't know about no black. <laughs> she trying like she know Obama now. See, um, people, actually, I just because Obama black, all black people try like. They First know of all, Obama. I worked on Capitol Hill when Barack Obama was a senator, and I rode you the did. train with him one day. You did. Yes. You did to the Capitol. Oh, you did. Yeah. That's and I was cool with Reggie Love, his first assistant. Why you ain't get a selfie? I did, actually, we like, my face. I do have a picture. I, we need to see the proof. No, if I'll it ain't it. on Instagram, it didn't happen. I'll find it. It's at my mom's house on the mantle. <laughs> like, she has it photographed. I need to take a picture of the album. Well, listen. It is 831. We appreciate you guys. We do got to go because we got to get ready to watch the show at 9 o'clock on BET. Yes. Make sure you watch it live. Make sure you also tweet. Yes, tweet. We'll be on Twitter. Make, Make sure, sure you tweet, tweet us. us. Make sure you tweet us so that we can answer your questions on Twitter live. It's going to be a huge episode. We're going to see if, if Fatima and Zach end up together. We love y'all. We, love we appreciate guys. y'all. Yes. And remember this. Zach is part of the money team now. So when you call me, baby... Just know, Zach is short for exactly what I thought was going on. <laughs> All right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my yes, God. We love yes, you guys yes. so much. We'll see you guys at 9 o'clock. Let me get my scarf on. See y'all at 9 o'clock. Sisters on BET, 9 o'clock, 8 Central. Love Peace. you guys. Peace. <laughs> oh. Thing. Okay. So.